Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Um, this is a book review on The Hills of Estrella Roja by Ashley Robin Franklin. Um, this is published in 2023. It is a graphic novel. It is aimed at uh, it's a YA graphic novel and it tells the story of Catfield who is a university student. I believe it is freshman. Uh, we don't use this terminology in Australia, but uh, that's what I believe she is. And um, she gets in, she hosts a paranormal podcast uh, called Paranormal Texas. And uh, she gets an email about an odd town in Texas called Estrella Roja. And she decides in her spring break to take a road trip there to see what it is like. Uh, while she is there, she meets up with a local. Uh, by the name of Marisol Castillo, or otherwise known as Mari, who is from out of town as well, but is visiting her family. So she gets this email saying this town is very weird because she hosts this paranormal um, podcast. She decides, I'm going to go into this story. While this town is very closed off to uh, visitors, she doesn't get anywhere to stay. There is no hotel. There's not even actually a road to this little village. It's off a dirt track in the middle of nowhere. And uh, so she, that's kind of a bit weird as well. So she ends up kind of sleeping in her car. Um, and everyone's very angry and doesn't talk to her and doesn't kind of like give her a lot of stuff. Um, but of course, Mari is the other outsider here because even though she has a lot of family, that uh, lives in this uh, village or lives in this town she, she hasn't lived there for uh, like 10 years so she hasn't uh, been around these people she hasn't seen them it's um the actual death of her grandmother that she actually goes back with her mother and her younger sister um, and they return to uh, Estrella to um, attend the funeral and um, it is uh, as you can see depicted as about six or seven houses um, and the only paved part of the street is the six or seven houses so a lot of the tension in the book is not only is she researching all these dark and weird things that happen in the Texan desert but she is in a town that is inhabited pretty well much by everybody who was related and even the related people aren't getting along very well so it is actually kind of a um, adorable book. So there's lots of uh, over-the-top characters in this. There's lots of aunts in here that are pretty funny. There's lots of sibling stories in here. And it's siblings from both the aunt's perspective and from Mari's perspective. Mari's cousin and Mari's sister who were all um, in the young uh younger group should I say so there's kind of these sibling rivalries there's these family rivalries there's this kind of romance starting to blossom between um Marisol and Kat um Marisol and uh is trying to hide all of this from her younger sister Kat is uh quite uh vocal um with her non-binary friend that lives back in Austin um, about how this is all uh, interesting and going um, and of course you know in amongst this is the actual uh, paranormal uh, investigation that she's conducting and uh, actual weird stuff does start to happen with her so there's these weird birds that fly around there's these weird noises that happen in the night she is sleeping in her car she is rapidly running out of money so there's a lot of kind of stuff that mixes in with this drama um, and the story that kind of continues on so as you can see the artwork is very much more uh, scaled back um, even though it is it's not as bright as a lot of other comic books they certainly use a lot of color in it but it is not uh, fluoro it is much more realistic in the way that they move in and that they uh, anticipate what is happening in the book so it is um, 
it was really interesting that I went on a paranormal uh, investigation route um, because that almost kind of acts as the MacGuffin in the romance story um, because the MacGuffin uh, creates this kind of bond between Marisol and Kat in how uh, Marisol is obviously uh, completing her year 12 education. Um, the controversy between the sisters, because um, the, there's a group of obviously the mum and the aunts and the cousins, they kind of stay behind when the mum with Marisol and uh, the younger sister left. So they've taken on a lot of responsibilities for the family, including the grandparent or the mother, and had all of that responsibility without um, Marisol, her mother and sister, there to help out, and Marisol's mother is the oldest sister, so technically a lot of the responsibility would have initially fallen on her had she not fled uh, the little village which they are, meant, they are all meant to live in. So there's lots of kind of like high tension and high drama in this um, book. The paranormal, uh, which is the paranormal aspect, is actually kind of funny and kind of hilarious, um, but also treated actually is quite uh, seriously um, in all of this. Uh, it's definitely something that uh, she keeps breaking. Um, and of course, Kat keeps on breaking everything. She breaks her phone, she breaks her car, she breaks her laptop, she breaks her recording equipment. Um, Marisol sneaking her in and out of the house and sneaking food in and out of the house. Um, there, most of the town village um, is unlocked, so they wander in and out of the library and in and out of other food stations without any kind of adult present there. But of course, um, Cat is 18, 19, um, and uh, well, Cat's probably about 19, um, and Marisol is about 18, um, and but all of her aunts own all the businesses in town, so she's like, Don't worry, we can just like sneak in here and do whatever we need to do because my aunt is the place. So it has this kind of whole vibe, um, about it, but. Um, it's definitely worth a read because it does have kind of uh, quite, a, quite a lot of comedy in it and quite a lot of amusement in it and you don't always find out what's going on straight away um, especially with the sisters and the family um, kind of being quite obscure with the truth um, and with of course Kat being really really persistent in what she wants out of this expedition which is obviously a story for her podcast um, and they keep finding lots of creepy stuff in the forest so this again is a very kind of 2023 recent publication and uh, definitely worth a read um, definitely worth uh, supporting um, the um, LGBTQIA plus community and getting a lot of stuff out here. I'm actually quite enjoying that we're getting a lot more lesbian books, comic books and literature out there. Um, it wasn't always the case, but hopefully with um, the popularity and hopefully if people start kind of getting these types of books to read, we will get more and more and more um, out there. Uh, we do cycle through a lot of days and nights in this book, as you can see from the pages. So you actually get a good cycle through of what is going on. So this is The Hills of Estrella Roja by Ashley Robin Franklin. Um, loved it. I think it's worth a read. It is a very, very easy uh, read to do and um, I quite enjoyed it. So um, would recommend the read. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, of course, depending on where you are in the day. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.